So there is a fascinating contrast between what's happened in the world of IT and what's happened in the world of bioscience. Um, and relatively modest, basic um, advances in information technology have driven um, a tremendous number of new features on our smartphones. One of the most important differences, of course, between bioscience and information technology is the level of regulation. So we haven't seen much regulation of um, smartphones, for example. Might, we might know that some of them are exploding on people, but you know, they, they, basically one is a regulated industry, the other is an unregulated industry. What we need to do, though, is to match the regulation in the whole area of biomedicine to the need. And we have had, over years, the development of regulatory systems that essentially say, that went wrong, it'll never happen again. And of course, every time something goes wrong, something gets added to the, to the list of, uh, of regulatory requirements. We need to rethink that, and I've been involved in a lot of rethinking of that, so that you adapt the development and the regulatory uh, thinking to the, the nature of what you're dealing with and what you already know before you start. So I think we need to make bioscience lighter in regulation and smarter in regulation. Um, we will never make it as unregulated as some other industries for very, very good reasons. But I think there's real progress we can make. So we have regulation for very good ethical reasons. However, if you ask the patients, are we getting the balance right between benefit and risk for many of the new technologies that are coming through? They often say, actually, no, you're not asking us. We would accept more risk in order to achieve benefit. Now, of course, it depends entirely what you're suffering from. If you've got a fatal disease, you'll give things a try that might extend your life or even cure you. Um, so I think we need to rethink the ethics along with the patients, not guess what it is they would do, but actually ask them and involve them in the decision making. Then I think we will find in many cases that they would accept more risk for the benefit that's potentially theirs.